Well, as I alluded to in that interview, the political career of Australia's longest standing Premier appears to be over. South Australian Labor leader Mike Rann has been knifed by colleagues in a familiar scenario. State Labor's struggling in the polls and so the dominant right faction moved against the leader. But unlike when the same thing happened to Kevin Rudd federally, Mike Rand said he'll only hand over power at the time of his choosing. Mike Sexton reports from Adelaide. Please welcome the Premier. Mike Rand was opening a new exhibition at the Art Gallery of South Australia on Friday night, just hours after being the victim of a dark but familiar political art, the offer that can't be refused. Well, thank you very much. Despite winning a tight election almost 18 months ago, Opinion polls have long shown voters are losing faith in Labor. So after 17 years as leader, the past nine as Premier, factional leaders told Mike Rann his time was up. The right faction have come to a decision and that is that should a vacancy in the leadership of the South Australian Labor Party occur, then we will be supporting Jay Wetherill to take over as leader of the party. There was a meeting on Friday evening with the Premier where that decision was conveyed to the Premier. Jay Wetherill, the softly spoken education minister, is the choice of the dominant right faction to take over as Premier, even though it flies in the face of the faction system because he's the leader of the left. The only answer I can come up with is that the left were becoming impatient and they put the hard word on the right and said, if you don't do something, we're going to call this on and it will get ugly. That just doesn't seem to be politically wise for the Labor Party. The Labor Party seems to have these union officials. Uh, they're not elected, but they wield all this power. If talkback is a rough barometer of the electorate, then this morning the reading was confusion. I thought people would be uh, glad that Mike Rand's going because he's, he, he's not been the most popular leader in the last year. His popularity's been down, but they're quite puzzled by it all. They don't really understand it. And there's a flavour coming through that why are the unions deciding who should lead the Labor Party and who should be Premier of South Australia? And that may be a problem for them. The move on Mike Rann echoes recent political events in Sydney and Canberra that have seen factional deals end the leadership of New South Wales Premiers Maurice Yemmer and Nathan Rees and Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. But it sounds like decisions are being made by Labor factional bosses again, taking it out of the hands of voters. It sounds to me like Mike Rann, who's always been focused on what's best for South Australia, continues to have that focus and he'll make some statements about his future working with his parliamentary team. We just have to get out of that habit of making it appear to the world that faceless union officials and others are running the Labor Party. Now, that's not the case, but when you do have those sorts of own goals, then it's easy for Labor's political enemies to say, look, there they go again. Labor strategist Bruce Hawker has worked for Mike Rann in the past two elections and believes transitions can work, citing the example of Peter Beatty to Anna Bly in Queensland. Gough Whitlam once said, the best machines run silently. And I think that's a lesson that we all have to learn. It's very important that you distinguish between the machine in politics and the elected representatives. The role of the elected representatives is to make the decisions about who's going to govern and what the policies are going to be. Uh, the machine has to run quietly and support that process. But however well-oiled the party machine might be, Mike Rann, who is not aligned to any faction, has managed to put a spanner in the works. In a statement from India where he's on a trade mission, he says he'll step down only after completing several key projects and he will mentor the future leader. The question will be whether the left are going to swallow that or whether they'll kick up a fuss in the next few weeks. The left have got the ultimate prize. Their man will be Premier. But Mike Rann outfoxed them in the end. He'll go on his terms. South Australia has fixed terms, so there won't be an election until April 2014. Political commentators believe if Labor expected a boost in the polls, then Mike Rand's determination to stay on could cost them. That really takes the gloss away from what you might have hoped for Labor, for the Labor Party strategist, of a honeymoon for the incoming Wetherill and his new ministry. So since Friday, South Australians have been made aware they'll have a new Premier. What hasn't been answered is when or why. So it's interesting to watch this pan out as it always is, a sort of tragedy that surrounds the long-term leader who now sees the dying days and how they actually handle that.